Hi guys, thanks for watching. I'm uh, going to be reviewing this little guy today, the uh, M&R Moibus and Rupert Pollux. Uh, this thing is a uh, concave handheld sharpener. Uh, it's similar to the other brass sharpener they make. Uh, they call it, I believe, the grenade, or uh, we just kind of call it like the bullet sharpener. Um, but that one is the one that they've had out for a while now, and it does like a shorter point. This one is a little bit longer and does a uh, concave long point. So we are going to sharpen a few pencils with this thing. Um, I'm planning on doing a few different types of pencils, uh, one of which will be a completely unsharpened uh, Palomino Golden Bear, number two, uh, in blue. I'm going to sharpen a pre-2014, or this one is a 2014, uh, pre-sharpened Statler Norca in black. This is the uh, one made in Thailand. Uh, the coveted uh, 2014 version. Uh, I'm also going to sharpen a uh, triangular pencil. I have these uh, UBs uh, that I bought at uh, Target. Triangular. See how it does with the triangular pencil. And then I am also going to sharpen uh, this one was sharpened in a uh, long point sharpener um, that does not do convex. So this one is, uh, let's see if we can get it to focus here. Yeah, this one is uh, an H uh, Mitsubishi uh, 9006. So um, this one was sharpened in a Mitsubishi KH20 sharpener. Uh, it does a very long point, very good sharpener. Uh, does not do the convex. So, there we go. Um, so let's get started. Uh, I will start first with the uh, Mitsubi. Actually, you know what? I'm going to start with the Golden Bear here. Um, the these uh, take a long time to sharpen with one with a with an unsharpened. So we're just going to start twisting and get going. You know, um, I've heard some people talking about breaking um, off the points. Uh, it does happen. I've had it happen. Uh, usually it's if I have been too firm with my push, uh, pushing into the... We're getting there. Maybe just a little bit more. Just a light twist. And uh, there you have it. Let's see here. Yeah, so that's a fairly centered uh, golden bear. Uh, does a great job. You can see the difference here between the concave and non-concave. It just kind of slides up in a little curl this way as opposed to this one that's just straight. Um, I can actually probably get that a little bit sharper. You just have to have a light touch, or if you just start pushing, though, it will push it right off and break that tip. Yeah, I think that's a little bit better. Yep. Yeah. I've now lead all over my hands. Uh, this is one of the problems with a sharpener such as this that. Uh, has no nothing to hold the shavings in is uh, you get it all over your hands so <clears throat> but that's what you get when you sharpen uh, with a hand sharpener okay we're gonna start with this uh, now we're gonna do this uh, Statler Thailand 2014 Norca and this one is pre-sharpened so and it's a little bit of a softer lead than the Palomino Golden Bear. So 
That's where we also want to worry about it, possibly. So you're just kind of lightly twisting, letting it kind of roll in there, maybe shave off a few things here and there. Um, I might be able to get this just a smidge sharper. Yeah, okay. So, there you go. Uh, these have a very thick core in the center, as you can tell. So, um, yeah. This is a pretty good job. Took away a lot of wood and exposed a lot of lead there. So, go back. Man, my desk is going to be a mess. I always like to kind of blow it out and get everything, get all the gunk out of it uh, between sharpenings. I don't know what is ever left in there. Okay, uh, let's try this UV uh, triangular. Um, the, the shavings are going to look a little different, at least at the start. Get these off of here. And I'm just kind of rolling it, letting it sharpen up. Oh yeah, that did look really nice. Long, sharp tip. Yeah, that one did really well. It seems like to me the harder the lead, the uh, longer it is. I mean, that is hypodermic right there. The longer it's able to get. Um, I had one that, it was actually a soft pencil though, but it just, it extended maybe a quarter an inch farther than what it, maybe even a half of an inch farther out than here and it was just one long thin piece like, I was surprised that it actually uh, did that so that's uh, sharpening the UB uh, that's a nice uh, long thin number two point on there um, now <clears throat> this is the uh, sharpening of a pre long point sharpened in, but not concave. So this is that H. It's just going to take a little bit of wood off there in the center to make it concave. And it is taking some lead as well. It's harder lead. This is an H. will do quite well in there. It won't break at all. Let me just get one last couple of turns. Oh, yeah. Yeah, now that's butte right there. I usually don't use harder leads at all, but yeah, that totally concave to that thing pretty good. So um, let's take a look at all of them here. Uh, let's see. From uh, left to right, these are the first first ones I did. To the last one I did. Uh, you can see that. Harder lead, lead a nice longer point. Um, Try to get them all straight here so we can kind of tell what's going on. Yeah. Beautiful points these things make. Uh, it is $28. Uh, no replacement blades in the U.S. as of yet. Uh, you can get them at cwpencils.com. Uh, these things uh, are expensive, but if you are a pencil nerd, they're totally worth it. Um, thanks for checking it out. We will uh, come back very soon with another pencil or sharpener or stationary review. Thanks, guys.